Hello everyone, this is Charles from the Chainzilla team. Today I'm with you to show you how to create a wallet using the Magnum wallet. Now, as the ICO moves closer to in January, it is important that you have your wallet prepared. And recently, we have been working with the Magnum team in order to add Komodo and Chainzilla to their wallets. Now, this is a very easy to use web wallet, so you can use it on your mobile device or you can use it on your desktop. Currently, I'm using it on uh, Chrome on a Mac. So we can click create wallet. Uh, actually, we can go through the site just so you can see a little bit of it. Uh, it gives you a roadmap of some of the coins that they're going to be adding. Uh, they've already added Tezos and uh, the wallet has proof of stake, uh, dele delegated proof of stake feature. And also uh, it'll have an airdrop feature in the future. Now, if we click the create wallet uh, option, it will take you to app.magnumwallet.co. And from this screen, we can do two things. If you have a wallet or a private key that you uh, would like to import, you can do so. Uh, and you would do so by importing the private key. Uh, you can also restore from a backup file that the wallet will also give you, and we can do that in a bit. The first thing would be, if you're a new user, would be to create a new wallet. So this web wallet works a little different than the Agama wallet. It does not use a seed. It utilizes a password. However, even though it does use a password, you can export the private keys, which means you would be in control of the private keys. Now, just for uh, testing purposes, we're going to use a test passphrase. And we can paste that onto the well, interface and it'll right away tell you, uh, give you the option to back up the wallet. So we're actually going to download that now. However, once you're inside the dashboard, as you can see, it already gives you some options. So you have uh, the Komodo option and you have the Chainzilla option. I've spoken with the Magnum uh, team and they're going to be changing this interface a bit so you won't have as many coins activated on init on yeah on initially uh, starting the wallet. However, they will give you an option to select the ones that you want activated. So once you have your address, if you have a Komodo wallet or a Chainzilla wallet, they both have uh, the same private key. So in this wallet, you actually have a separate private key for your Komodo wallet and for your Chainzilla wallet. So what I suggest is once you create it, you would export the key. And the way you would do that is by entering once again your passphrase. And it will give you your private key. Now, the thing about the private key, and it's, it is why it's so important, is because you can use this key to recover your funds on any other wallet. It does not have to be the Magnum wallet. And I believe uh, you should, especially if you are using a web wallet, you should always export your private key for safety. And this is how you use the Magnum wallet. Uh, want, you can also download the backup file. We already downloaded one backup file. Uh, however, we can download them for each wallet if you happen to create new ones. So, for example, we can... create two of the same wallets and as you can see now you have two wallets here and each has a different key which you can export again uh, or you can just use the backup file that would be stored on your machine so the backup file is encrypted and you would have to use it in the Magnum wallet that is why I suggest to always export your private key, no matter which wallet you're using, it's just safer. Um, and that is pretty much it. This culminates this tutorial. Once the Magnum wallet is updated with the new interface, we'll make another uh, tutorial on how to claim your Komodo rewards and also how to use the Chainzilla wallet after the ICO. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed the wallet. Uh, more of this will be coming from us. Stay tuned and thank you.